Hi, welcome. This is a response to a user who wants to install this particular thing. Our desktop, our studio, sorry, desktop Git. So it has already some votes and percentage here. A powerful and productive integrated development environment or IDE for our programming language. Don't know what it is, but can we install it on Arch is basically the problem. So that's always an issue. Um, I believe it was in Minecraft that we had to choose as well. And one of them worked and the others don't. So you need to figure out which, which of these Java, this is Java um, application is gonna work. It says number one as default. So without knowing anything, we say, okay, let's go ahead. And you see a lot of Haskell stuff in here. So the development of this application, whatever it is, requires the language Haskell. And uh, you know it from our own um, desktop on Arco Linux. And let's go and try and install it. I was thinking, which desktop was it again? Thinking, <laughs> what, what desktop was it? So uh, let me look it up. Was it um, Xmonad or was it, uh, which one was already again in Haskell? So desktop, um, arch wiki. Haskell, simple as that. Haskell ArchWiki. Now that's a good, interesting question, actually. Um, you always learn, right? So, all right, let me show you guys. First, let me close out every other tab. He's installing. Haskell is a general purpose, pure functional programming language. Never went to this page. Um, okay. The version here, static linking, Haskell development tools, platform, parsers, scan through it, learn your Haskell of great mood. Oh, great good, <laughs> for great good mood. Yeah, this Friday evening, ah, the week is finally at an end. Weekend can start, but I tend to read some strange stuff, it seems. So again, um, so was it Xmonad? No, yes, no, Haskell. Tiling window manager. Right, what was it? This one, extensible in Xmonad. In Nescal, sorry. So custom layout, blah, blah, blah. You have to look more and more information here. One of the dangers, maybe we can include this in the video as well. We're still installing, so doesn't matter. Let's see if we find something about Xmonad. One of the things that often happen to people is that when we get an update from Haskell everything breaks so recompile your Xmonad desk that's gonna be a good one solved crash start of the huge first update on login stage that's gonna help you as well I thought we had an article for it as well setting up your working environment for Haskell so anyway, you'll have, have um, information here. Damn, I forgot to make a proper link here. So it's gonna be on articlingsd.com. So that's that's okay, that's no issue. You're already on the right site, but or website, but it's gonna be looking for an article. So we better copy paste it later on. So you'll have it. So these are all the articles of Xmonad, and we know what, what's, what's gonna hit you, right? Cannot log into Xmonad or Xmonad throws me back to login screen. This will happen. It happens to me, it happens to you. It's okay. We have a solution. You need to go into TTY and say Xmonad recompile and everything's gonna work again or super shift R. But if you forgot it, 
you can't log in again because the thing you're referred to xmonad is not recompiled means it's broken so now <laughs> have made a word cloud even for search engines right so crash broken after update broken after reboot fail etc so google would find this article <sighs> google you did not do your work properly so i'm gonna edit this thing here on the other screen if you don't mind and copy paste this in here Control V, save it, and then there you go. Now we have a proper link in the in the description, talking about hey, if you have issues, I'm probably gonna make something, some attempt or something, and break it. So a lot of Haskell stuff coming in, and then I log out, I suppose. Let's have a look. Then everything breaks. I want to log in. And it's going to throw back like this. And you say, what rubbish do you have here? Article Linux is just rubbish. It's Haskell. You need to recompile it. If you have lots of updates and you forget it to recompile and you reboot, then you're transferring to an application that is not built yet. That's Xmonad is not really a desktop in essence. It seems to act more like an application and the application is not going to work because you have lots of new stuff in. Hence that information in the video. So let's put it on, uh, on uh, hold here this video because he's really building stuff. So there is no guarantee that when you watch this video it's still going to work with the same Java uh, package. It's always going to change. The world is changing. Packages are changing. So the only thing you can do is try, try, try. So this time we have chosen this one. Number one, we might succeed. We may not succeed. Then we have two, then we have three, we have four and we have five. And maybe everything is going to work. Going to put it on pause. All right, I started um, making, I restarted the video, let's say, because we're, I think, almost at the end. So lots of time has passed in the meantime. Maybe you can see it in the clock, how long it's building, but it's really building. I've done a lot of things in the meantime, some maintenance and stuff. So, all right. So he wants me to install it. Let's have a look, what is this thing? No, not a password. How about this one? All right. So as you can see, it's, ooh, okay. What did he do? And boost Java. Okay. Some more things he wants to hold. Minus net change, less. All right. Anyway, what's on here? What did I install actually? Language and environment thing. Development. This is our studio. Okay. All right. So we have ourselves a EDI, which is looking transparent, and it has it's following the the code we have, the design code we have with. Uh, what's it called again? It's not QT5 settings. It's close. Haven't looked at it for a while. Where are you, my friends? Quantum manager. So at this point in time, it's following the same colors uh, as we have set it for virtual box this is an application that's called our studio okay so what if I say to quantum default fine when you do an arc dark 
and we take our studio maybe I'd like it a little bit better okay I hope I don't need to reboot or anything that's better so that's the arc look feels better that it's going to be in this kind of theme so that's how you set it by the way I haven't made a video about it I, I think I don't know so I click on this one we got some information can we move this thing yeah we can move it like this so these are all scripts you can get as well if you want to get all Arclinks D scripts in that's how we do it I say just get all these directories in Arco awesome so 15 of them these are 15 Arclinx D github so that's how we do it and some for next looping you know when we used to have basic back in the years GWM use all the cores Ah, that's still an old one we've changed the course but GWM has not been developed yet there is a new one and that's here already okay we should still copy paste some stuff over I see so on the to-do list there is always so much to do but just to show control H I suppose ah, can we make an height and stuff like that show hidden files okay that didn't take long to investigate so main it's this thing this is a new kind of um, a code that came from Zoe hub or something so he made this script I said okay let's test it and it's working so it doesn't really matter now how many cores you have just say that it needs to be always one bigger or one less and everything is gonna be fine like the number of cores here he's figuring it out himself with the script so it should be version 4 everywhere so like I said on the to-do list so right um, if you like what you're seeing uh, it takes a while to build it but um, it hasn't crashed yet right Toggle breakpoints, etc. Step into stop debugging profile, open profile tools. You can install packages. Okay, whatever that is. Version control shell. <laughs> All right. Terminal, I suppose. Rename terminal diagnostics. What's that? All right. So, okay, you just check it out, guys. Uh, the question was how to install it uh, from the user. I have tried to figure out again where it was from. We have so many social media. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to put the video online. Everything went well. I chose number one with the Java and Java choice there all the way up there. And let's take a look at the video now, how long it all took to, well, to install it. All right. Cheers.